Now, even if you've worked with array destructuring before in PHP, you may have not known that you can actually skip certain values in an array. And this works best with uh, arrays that have numerical indexes because as we've seen from an associative array, we can choose the order and what we pluck out. So it doesn't really matter as such. But let's just say you have an array of values here, but there's one floating around in here that you don't need. Perhaps this came from a different source, came from somewhere else that you can't control, and you wanted to list this information out. So let's say this is X and this is Y, but we have this null floating around, which we don't really care about. Well, we can go ahead and access X, and then in here we'd probably think, well, we don't really need this, so let's just call it null as a variable name and we want y as well. And let's go ahead and destructure this from that list of params. And let's go down here and var dump out the x and the y variables and come over and give that a refresh. So we get the 10 and the 30 that we we're after, but we've kind of got this null variable here floating around that we don't really need. And that's a bit of a waste of creating a variable and it also looks a little bit messy as well. So the way that we can actually get around this really weirdly is to just get rid of this and just leave this as empty. So we can just leave that comma kind of floating around there. Or you could do that and put it right next to that. Or you could put this all together if you wanted to. I much prefer to space things out a little bit just to make it look a little bit neater. So what that's actually going to do is it's going to completely skip that and work in exactly the same way. And it doesn't matter what position this particular value that you want to skip is in. It could be at the start. You could have multiple ones you want to skip. You can actually include the... Uh, a comma just at the start of here just to say that you want to skip this particular value here as well so even though we've got a null and a null floating around in here and these are the two that we want to access as long as these in the, are in the right order we can still access them in exactly the same way and what that also leads us to show is that you can actually add an empty value at the end here with a trailing comma let's say that you were building this up dynamically for any reason and you wanted to have this comma here or you were listing these down in this way. So if you wanted these to be listed down and you prefer to leave a trailing comma, then that's an option as well. It will have absolutely no effect on what you're doing. In fact, what you can do is you can leave an unlimited list of trailing commas if you really wanted to. But that just goes to show how this works. We're just skipping anything where the particular variable name isn't being defined uh, inside of this destructure.